opportunity to put oh, oh my no! goodness knockout punch so I said in my prediction that I thought I thought that Logan Paul should win this match. Logan Paul just made WWE history. I'm not talking about driving his car down the middle of the road to start a match. Logan Paul has won the United States Championship and I want to take you on a ride to show you what impact this has on the future of WWE and why this is so historical in the world of wrestling ever. Right now on Beach Bus. Logan Paul made WWE history when he beat Rey Mysterio to become the United States Champion. And I know what you're thinking is that it's just another championship victory. But that's not what this means. Logan Paul has done something that's never been done in the history of wrestling. He has become one of the fastest wrestlers ever to win a title. He's had only eight matches and is now a champion in the WWE and has that. He's in the history books forever and no one is ever going to take that away from him. But why does it matter so much? It matters because Logan Paul is Logan Paul. Understand something. I have been wrestling my whole life. This is my sport. This is my industry. Yeah, that Logan Paul. And I'm not going to sit here and tell you all the history of Logan Paul. You are watching a YouTube video. So I figure that you know who Logan Paul is or at least have heard of him or some of the stuff he does. Watched some content, saw a commercial. You're probably drinking Prime right now. But I want to talk to you about Logan Paul the wrestler and what impact he has on the world wrestling of entertainment. It is crazy to me that Logan Paul has done this much this fast. And Logan Paul has changed the landscape. He said it best. I am the table. And that's right, not only is Logan Paul the table, but Logan Paul has changed the entire landscape of what it means to become into the WWE as a so-called outsider. Yes, not Kevin Nash and Scott Hall outsiders, but Previous celebrities or, you know, entrepreneurs or, you know, remember the whole guest host era of WWE when we had celebrities come in every week or every year at WrestleMania, there would be celebrities coming in. Celebrities in the wrestling industry have been not been that far out fetched over through the 70s, 80s, and 90s on to today, we're always having celebrities come into the WWE or into other wrestling promotions and, you know, trying to make an impact and get fans from their genre to come over here. But this is something different that Logan Paul has done. Like I said, not only is he the table, but he's also the bar. He has set the bar above everybody else that's ever came in. And there has been a lot. We have had some fantastic ones as of late. When you look, of course, at Pat McAfee and how Bad Bunny is taking the world by storm. But not only that, we've had some really bad ones like this. Yeah, yeah there's been some bad ones. Is, is that? Uh, well, that explains a lot. Okay, uh, look, Snooki. Can I call you Snooki? No, it's Nicole now. Okay, then. And it makes no sense that he's supposed to be this good, but he is. And he has changed the game, so to speak, as we go on. Now he is the bar. Not the table, but the bar. Because if any celebrity is coming in from the outside coming in, Back in the day, it was just a nice pop. It would be awesome to see a celebrity come in. But this time around, when you come in as a celebrity, if you don't make an impact, if you don't become one of the boys right off the bat, then you're not any good. And going down the line as we go through the future of wrestling, that's what he's going to be held up against. Any new celebrity that comes in will be, oh, it was cool we saw so-and-so, but he wasn't as good as Logan Paul. He didn't do what Bad Bunny did, or he's not as multi-talented as Pat McAfee is. There is a new standard in wrestling when it comes to celebrities, 
And I'm actually excited about it that they are taking this business this seriously. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about Logan Paul actually edging his name in with the United States title. I do know at least one person is excited about it. Come on. Come on. U.S. Champion! Of course, with Logan Paul becoming United States Champion, that also means he got new merch. That's right, go down to the WWE shop right now and pick up the new Logan Paul t-shirt if you are a fan of the Maverick. And while you're down there, check out the new Beach Bite shirt. Go ahead and search our store as well. We have plenty of products no matter what kind of wrestling fan that you are. But not only has Logan Paul changed the way celebrities looked, he has also become the first outsider to come into the wrestling business and win a legitimate championship. One that matters. One that has the lineage of the United States title. If this thing has been held by Ric Flair, Booker T, John Cena, Seth Rollins, Harley Race, the list goes on and on. And now forever, we have to say that Logan Paul is a United States champion in WWE. This is what I do. I welcome any challenge and I overcome all of them. Anytime someone says I can't do something, I step up to the plate. This is simply what we do. Understand something. I have been wrestling my whole life. This is my sport. This is my industry. This has been a look inside of Logan Paul's journey into WWE. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about it. And if you like this kind of content and you enjoyed it, can you hit the like button for me? And please consider subscribing if you want more awesome videos like this. And like I said at the beginning, I did make a prediction that Logan Paul was going to become a champion in WWE. If you want to see that whole conversation, check out that video right there. Remember, make life your beach. And we'll see you on the next video. What kind of idiot says I'm a I'm a table? <laughs>